everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can cancel your Surfshark subscription and get yourself a full refund. I'll also be giving you a couple of VPN recommendations in case you are looking for certain features that Surfshark doesn't have, so stay tuned. And without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point in this video you'd like to check out any of the VPNs that I mentioned today, you'll find all the useful links, including discounts, in the description down below. Now, the cancellation process is pretty simple. All you have to do is go to the Surfshark official website, scroll all the way down and click on chat with us. Then you're gonna need to input your credentials and then type in a message to start the chat. I'm not gonna send anything since it would instantly connect me to a support employee and I do not want to waste their time. But once you start the chat with them, simply ask for cancellation and a refund. So keep in mind that in order to get a refund, you have to cancel within the first 30 days after you get your subscription, according to the 30 day money back guarantee. After that, they're gonna ask you a couple of simple questions and complete the cancellation for you. And that's pretty much it. Now, even though Surfshark is a great service and the best budget friendly option on the market, it might not be for everyone. So if you're looking for certain features or protocols that Surfshark doesn't offer, I have a couple of great alternatives that are worth checking out. First up, we have ExpressVPN, which is overall the best pick as it came first in most major categories, like speed, security, and privacy during my test. Now, in terms of reliability, ExpressVPN has proven its commitment to protecting user data several times by conducting many audits over the years, on top of going through a real-life stress test where the Turkish government sees one of its servers in an ongoing investigation, only to find nothing that can be linked to any specific user. Now, other than that, ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, allowing you to access almost any content from all around the world. But what's so impressive about these servers is their consistency and reliability. Whether I'm streaming, gaming, or torrenting, I've had great speeds and uninterrupted connections. And besides being super simple to use, my favorite thing about ExpressVPN is how responsive it is across all devices. Launching the app only takes a few seconds and connecting to any server takes a single second or less, which isn't something that I can say about any other VPN. And so if you're looking for the overall best, fastest, and most reliable VPN out there, ExpressVPN is your go-to. Next up, we have NordVPN, which offers the most value for money. It's got some bonus features that makes it a little more than just a simple VPN. Such features include threat protection, which blocks ads and malware-ridden websites and also protects your device from harmful files. And in terms of speeds, NordVPN actually rivals ExpressVPN, especially when it comes to gaming and overall performance. Although it's got over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, so 34 less countries, which means access to less content than Express, but more servers will mean that the user base is more widely spread across the servers, so basically more room for everyone to use. And another thing I really liked about NordVPN is its intuitive user interface, which has a huge map of all of its servers, allowing you to pick and choose the closest server to you with a couple of clicks. And when it comes to device limits, NordVPN allows you to protect up to six devices with one subscription as opposed to the five device limit of ExpressVPN. And so if you're looking for the best value VPN, Nord offers a few more useful features, an intuitive user interface, and great overall performance. And that's it for today's video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find all the useful links, including discounts in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.